Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about pride. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of pride is Proverbs chapter 16, verses 16 through 20. It says, How much better it is to get wisdom than gold. Yes, to get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who keeps his way preserves his soul. Pride goes before destruction, and an arrogant spirit before a fall. It is better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor, than to divide the plunder with the proud. He who heeds the word finds prosperity. Whoever trusts in Yahweh is blessed. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of pride is found in Isaiah chapter 14, verses 11 through 15. It says, Your pomp is brought down to Sheol, with the sound of your stringed instruments. Maggots are spread out under you, and worms cover you. How you have fallen from heaven, shining one, son of the dawn. How you were cut down to the ground, who laid the nations low. You said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the mountain of assembly, in the far north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. Yet you shall be brought down to Sheol, to the depths of the pit. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to James chapter 4, verses 5 through 10. It reads, Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who lives in us yearns jealously? But he gives more grace. Therefore it says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Be subject therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament, mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will exalt you. Passage number 4. This is from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 7. The scripture says, Therefore I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and who will also share in the glory that will be revealed, shepherd the flock of God which is among you, exercising the oversight, not under compulsion, but voluntarily, not for dishonest gain, but willingly, not as lording it over those entrusted to you, but making yourselves examples to the flock. When the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the crown of glory that doesn't fade away. Likewise, you younger ones, be subject to the elder. Yes, all of you clothe yourselves with humility and subject yourselves to one another, for God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your worries on him, because he cares for you. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Psalm chapter 10, verses 2 through 4. The Bible says, In arrogance the wicked hunt down the weak. They are caught in the schemes that they devise. For the wicked boasts of his heart's cravings. He blesses the greedy and condemns Yahweh. The wicked, in the pride of his face, has no room in his thoughts for God. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of pride, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on pride. Passage number 6 is from Proverbs chapter 8, verses 12 through 13. It says, I, wisdom, have made prudence my dwelling. Find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil. I hate pride, arrogance, the evil way, and the perverse mouth. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Luke chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. The Bible says, he also spoke this parable to certain people who were convinced of their own righteousness, and who despised all others, two men went up into the temple to pray, one was a Pharisee, and the other was a tax collector. 
the Pharisee stood and prayed by himself like this, God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of men, extortionists, unrighteous, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far away, wouldn't even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of pride is from Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2. It reads, when pride comes, then comes shame, but with humility comes wisdom. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Isaiah chapter 2, verses 10 through 17. The passage states, enter into the rock, and hide in the dust, from before the terror of Yahweh, and from the glory of his majesty. The lofty looks of man will be brought low, the arrogance of men will be bowed down, and Yahweh alone will be exalted in that day. For there will be a day of Yahweh of armies for all that is proud and arrogant, and for all that is lifted up, and it shall be brought low, for all the cedars of Lebanon, that are high and lifted up, for all the oaks of Bashan, for all the high mountains, for all the hills that are lifted up, for every lofty tower, for every fortified wall, for all the ships of Tarshish, and for all pleasant imagery. The loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the arrogance of men shall be brought low, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of pride is from Proverbs chapter 13, verse 10. It says, Pride only breeds quarrels, but wisdom is with people who take advice. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of pride. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to pride, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.